Okay, here we are. I racing, Lime Rock, and um, open wheel, Skip Barber series cars. Very Formula Four type open wheel, very low downforce, tiny spoilers. Um, fantastic, absolutely. Th this is I racing. I mean the MX fives, uh, okay, but this this is I racing. Open wheel, close to the road. Um, really good. Slightly different microphone this morning. If I sound a bit echoey, uh, I'm not racing from my toilet. But I do actually race from my toilet. But um, let's see how we go. You know, hopefully it'll be a nice clean race. I've pre-warned everybody that I'm not here to cause trouble and that I'm. It's my first time in these cars, so expect me to be a bit slow. Here Bring we go. Up. Okay, Matt, get ready. Green, well green, green, off we go. Oh, Christ, that's... Hopefully we're not going to get a first corner pile-up. Just let him right. pass. To the right. Every, somebody's got a touch, they've gone off, he's gone off. Watch out for rejoining. There's a right spin, side. there's a spin, Clear spin, right. spin. Okay, avoided that. Avoided that. Forget the start, just get stuck in, mate. Okay, let's go, go, go. Forget the start. This is alright. Loads of people crashing, this is a tricky corner. Out we go, up we go, up we go. There's a little adverse camber there when you come over the top. Sometimes it makes your car just spin out a bit. Let's come round here. This guy behind is fairly quick, but he's not quick enough at this moment for me to let him through. Let's come through here. Let's change up to fifth. Just going to move over. You come through past, buddy. Car You're right. quicker than me. There we go. Still I'm a man of my word. Eighth place. A bit skittish around this corner, you can see the track's been relayed. It means adhesion, then it really tightens up. What's the gap behind me? 1.7 seconds. This is a tightening corner as well. We just hug the inside, coming up into fourth to really start to accelerate. Mustn't come off that curb. The grass and the gravel there is really, really bad. Up the inside here. Watch out for the adverse camber, get your wheels straight. If you're turning as you exit there, you're in trouble. A little bit of a slide. That's okay, a little bit of a slide. This is good. This is a 10 minute race. Lime Rock. I only really raced this track for the first time about four or five days ago. Um, and this is the first time in this car, so a really new learning experience for me, but I'm just really trying to work on the safety rating at the moment. How are we doing behind? That's okay, gaps being maintained. Try not to spin too much. But these cars, they're very reminiscent. The gap um, bars behind is now 2.1. Apart from the speed, they're very reminiscent of the aerial atom in how to drive. I've changed up a bit earlier there. Is somebody off? Is somebody off? No. Okay. Yellow flag. Keep your wits about you, mate. Yellow flag. Somebody's probably run a bit wide here. Easily done. Coming out of that corner. And then we've got this nice big sweeping right to bring us back into the home straight. You can really just floor it. Somebody's had a prang. He's off to the pits to get some repairs. These cars are extremely delicate. And that this is all right, you know. 101, that's my fastest lap. It was faster than my qualifying lap. We just glide around this corner. Try not to go too fast around here because you don't want to lose speed before you try and come through this S. Stay away from the curb. Up into fourth. Yep, use that, Jason. Don't worry about it, buddy. Oh, bit of a slide, but we'll catch that because that's what these cars do. They catch slides really easily. There's a guy stopped there. 
Through we come, through we come, stay off the grass, that's good. The leader has just done a 57.7. Holy cow, 57.7! That's super fast! Four seconds, 11 turns, four seconds. He's, he's probably sliding through a lot of those. He may have a really good setup. up that's your quickest lap. I'm Sector 1 is 1.2, oh, off the face. Oh, 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 a bit too wide there. Luckily I've recovered, luckily I haven't lost too much time to the guy behind. Through we go, this is brilliant, the, 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 the bump on the track really comes the through. Is increasing. I've, made the, uh, seconds. I've made the suspension just a little bit stiffer. Just a little bit stiffer, so I'm not getting as much bounce, because the bounce really makes the wheel just And you don't want that at the wrong part of the track. Now we come again. This is, I'm keeping a nice distance to the car behind, so I'm really happy with this. And this is very exciting. If you look into the um, uh, the top side of the screen, the top left-hand corner of the screen, you can see my heart rate monitor. I thought it might be, it's probably around about 100 or something. You've just done a 100.8 zero, zero seconds. Wow, getting faster. This is really good. Well, I think that's not my fastest lap, but still, it's still much faster than I was in qualifying. Um, but I thought my heart rate might be, depending on how close some of the racing was, it would be up into the higher 110s. But I'm imagining that my heart rate is probably around 100. I'll check on it a bit later. The guy behind is just catching a little bit, but I've just... This is a slightly slow lap for me, but I'll accelerate through here, keep it straight. If he thinks he can catch, he might try and press a bit harder. The leader has just done a 57.6. The gap behind has now decreased to 0.7. Yep, he's definitely got a good run. Yellow flag, caution. The guy off there, he's not driving straight back on. Good man. The guy off on the left, the dropping light flies. On your right, come well through. Done, Matt. This is great. Come on, keep nailing those exits. Come on. B6. Oh, there you go, right. buddy. You've made up that space. You're obviously doing faster laps. I'll just sit in your tail for a bit. You never know, you might make a boo boo. If you make a boo boo, I'll have my place back. But for the time being, this is just nice, clean racing. I love this. Look at it. It's brilliant. Awesome. No, he's keeping it straight. He's doing okay. He's got good lines. Who's this in front? Jenny? Jenny Petravi? Jenny, Jenny Pateri. Sorry, Jenny. Mispronouncing your name there, but this is good. There's a little bit bumpy through there, but it's not too bad on the wheel because I've made the, the rods a bit stiffer. It's not too bad. How are we doing? Set 25 laps. It's a 25 lap race. I had no idea. This You've is just awesome. Done a 101.1. Sector 1 is 1.8 seconds off the pace. This is fa the fact it's a 25 lap race. I'm really happy with that. I could do this all day. This is fantastic. Probably means I'm going to be lapped by the, the front runners a bit later on, but that's okay. Enjoy your racing. Whatever you're doing, yes, be competitive where you can, but just enjoy it, you know? At the moment, we're. Oh, we're in a, a real golden age of racing games, uh, especially on the PC. So just, you know... The gap in front has increased to 2.2. Run what you can and enjoy it all the time. This is just fantastic in, you know, Oculus. It's just amazing. It's a brilliant facsimile. Other simulations... Um, the Sector Seto one and Corsa, three are 1.3 race off the room. Pace. Sector two is they all, 1 .2 off the pace. They all offer something slightly different and unique. They're all amazing simulators. So get out there and pick one. If you can afford a, a couple, get a couple just so that you can see the difference. But get out there and enjoy it. And you know the quality of the peripherals, the wheels, like this this T three hundred from Fastmaster is really good. They're affordable. You don't have to have direct drive wheels to enjoy yourself, it's just amazing.
Try not to get on the grass there, that was a little bit wide. Oh, this is just heaven. It's just heaven. Fantastic. I love this little car. I mean, I, I enjoyed racing with the Masters. The Masters were okay. They were a good introduction. They helped you get onto your, onto your D license, off your rookie license. But, you know, they're, they're a bit slow. They're a little bit cumbersome. This is really nimble. The guy behind's really new in. The gap's now 2.1. Yep, he can reel me as much as he wants. If he can lap consistently quicker than me, then he deserves to be in front of me. That's the sort of racer I am. Racing in the MX-5s the other day at Phoenix Raceway, I had an insane race. I had my best finish ever of four, uh, yeah, fourth, and I had an incredible race. Um, there was a guy who was all over the place. He was really scrambling, trying to to hold his place and it made it interesting and my heart rate was incident in big bend my heart rate Sixth was place. really was one, zero, zero, really point high five. really high 127 beats a minute by the end of the race today it's a lot more manageable i know this track this car's a lot more manageable we haven't got any nutters ruining everybody's day someone's disconnected They've had enough. Thrown in the towel. Would you would you throw in the towel or would you throw in the dipstick rag? It's quite a slippy corner that. There we go again. What's the space? 5.6. Then another five seconds, then, okay. That last lap was at 100.5, zero, zero sector one is 1.5, off the pace. 100.5 zero, zero seems to be my, my pace now. I've settled into it, I've got a nice rhythm. And that seems to be pretty much my consistent lapping. One minute and a half a second. The guy in front seems to have slowed a bit. He hasn't given us a pass on the left or pass on the right message. I don't know if he's carrying damage. But we're going to make up a place here. Let's send the message. Oh, press the wrong button. Just send him a little thank you. P5, that last lap was at 102.1. Yeah, slightly slow because I'm passing that guy. Third gear. Third gear felt a little bit cumbersome there. I haven't checked to see if there's tyre degradation doesn't feel like it and again with these cars because they're so easily controllable especially when they move laterally I don't think tyre wear is really going to be a problem it's kind of a feature of the car that it slides around a bit you just have to make tiny corrections West Bend, I think it might be Barnes. Well, 14 seconds. 14 right, Matt, seconds. Halfway home, got plenty of fuel. That was a 101.1. Sector 1 is 1.6 seconds off the pace. Yeah, 14 seconds to the next driver on the same lap, so I'm not going to be losing too much time till the end of the race. He said half distance yet with four, well, 14, we're over halfway. So, uh, oh, 30, 35, 15 seconds. David Sanderford leading this race, doing a fantastic job. He's 15 seconds, 14 seconds behind. 
he'll be probably passing, well I don't know, he might pass me before the end of the race. Depends how much he gets held up by the guys who are immediately behind, oh he's making his way through. And if he gets to me, I'll get my blue flag warning and I'll let him over. So it's four to 12 seconds, he's gaining. Oh, good fun David, he's, he's polite there. Sectors 1 and 2 are 1.6 seconds off the pace. Sector 3 is 0.7 off the pace. Let's we'll see how close we can stay to him and see where he's picking up time. Stay off the curb. Okay, Gianni Pater is gone. Oh, hello. Jason Telfer is, is trying to unlap himself, might just let him pass. Come past Jace. Right side. Clear right. There you go, he's unlapping himself. Easy Jason. Hug the inside there, watch out for that runoff. Good boy. Oh, he's gone a little bit wide there. He's had a bit of a spin. Yeah, just had his... Just had his wheels touch. The, in front the grass to there. 12 seconds. That's what you've got to be careful of with these cars. As soon as you get... On the green stuff, you just going to spin. Really, the thing about these fantastic PC simulations is when they're done properly, um, it really gives you such an appreciation of what real racing drivers have to go through and how much they have to concentrate and how skilled they are, predominantly how skilled they are. Um, just incredible. And to have to do it for two hours on the, the Le Mans guys who have to do it for, you know, three or four hours and then have a bit of a rest and then do it again all over again and do it at night and in the rain and ah oh. and the F1 guys who have the world just blurring past them oh, there's so much respect for, for if you're if you're a racing driver no matter what you do even if it's just banger racing at a weekend utmost respect to you because you know fantastic Almost didn't keep my wheel straight there. Blue flag. Okay, is that David? The guy behind's catching. The gap's now 14 seconds. That's He's David. Faster than you into Big Bend. He's faster than me into the whole damn track crew, Chief, to be honest. There you go, David. Top guy. Top guy, David. Yeah. We've got another guy coming through. So where is he gaining time? He's keeping an ice line there, he's making little corrections, he's out, then he dives in. Staying quite wide, he's, he's basically staying to the... Okay, he's, oh. he's actually used the curb there, but he's... Five seconds to the next guy to come past. See him soon. What a lovely, what a lovely racer, David Sanford. Really smooth, getting it done. He's very consistent, very polite. This is this is exactly what you you know I expected to find when I came to iRacing. There was a reputation that iRacing was very clean. Uh, some online racing. Um, the best example really is Gran Turismo Sport. You've just done it. Is, um, zero, zero point eight. Especially the Sector daily races. Eight off the pace. Can be quite dirty. Lots of people are smashing each other. They're desperate to uh, play the penalty system and to try and get race wins. But it's not about that. It's not about that at all. How are we doing? There's the guy in second place just coming into my mirrors. It's 
So obviously for me this is now going to be a 24 lap race. I'm loving every second of this. I mean, okay, there's 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 no battles. I'm not fighting for position. The guy in front is um, miles ahead. Blue flag. The guy behind is that lap was a one zero zero point su six seconds. Sufficiently oh no, sufficiently far away to not bother me. But this is good racing, it's consistent, it's clean, and for me at least it's exciting. Blue flag. On your left, clear left. Let's get back on the pace. can change into fifth much earlier than normal on that corner. Okay, we've just realised that after 20 laps. P5, you've just done a 101.8. He's a bit skittish in front. He's desperately trying to close the gap to David Sanford. But your second place is secure, mate. The guy behind's catching. The gap's now 3.0 seconds. He's faster than you, entering Big Bend. Right, let's just bring this home now. A few more laps to come. A few more laps left. He's now 1.8, and the gap next driver behind that's uh, on his. That last lap was at 1.00.7 zero, zero, seconds. Sector 1 is 1.2 seconds off the pace. Slightly too, what, too near to the inside there. On your right, clear, Slip clear to through. the right. There's an incident in Big Bend, it looks like Barnes. Oh, Barnes, he said quite a few. There's an incident in left-hander, it looks like it's Barnes. Oh, bless him. He's had such a tough race, he's spun a few times. And that's what happens when you push. You're pushing push, unnecessary push, 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 places. Place. You're pushing unnecessary places. Sector like six has gone off in downhill. Sector two is 1.9 seconds off the pace. Just feather the throttle and the brake just to get the wheels pointing in the right direction. This place is mine. Oh, this has been just a, a dream dream race it really has I love it as I say I haven't been fighting for a position it hasn't been particularly close but it doesn't matter a little slide into the corner there let's let's just have a little bit of fun now I'm, I'm, my pace is secure last couple of laps okay we can have a start to I know Just have a little bit more fun with the car and see what it's up to. Next car behind me is on his. Two laps remaining. Bit of a lot two there. is 1.5 seconds off the pace. The guy behind has just done a 57.8. Yeah, well, the guy behind is one of the leading cars, so I'd expect him to have that sort of pace. But he's not going to pass me before the end, so... Well, 
wheels up. The guy behind's really new in. The gap's now 3.8. He's quicker than you into big bend. And here we go then. Checkered flag. My fifth. P5. One more lap to go. That was a 100.2. Don't think there is one more lap to go, crew chief. I think that's it. We are done. We think P6 has gone off in Big Bend. We just cruise around anyway, just to get a little bit more. A little bit more. Last few drops of fun out of this car. This has been fantastic. Up the inside, wheel straight. Yeah, we've definitely finished. The winner's gone, David. Well done, David Sanford. You drove a really good race there. And you were gentlemanly about it as well. This was brilliant. So we just come over onto the right here. E5. Okay, it's over. Well done, mate. Good finish. Let's just pin this here. Just check the final results and standings. Started 11th. Finished 5th. Oh, and look, Yanni. Yanni did so well. He did so well. He he came, you know, he passed me and did really well there. I mean, it was 30 seconds off. Good, good luck. Like, excellent race. That was really, really enjoyable. First time in the Skip Barber cars. Um, getting to know Lime Rock track a little bit better now. Uh, hopefully that was good for you to watch. It was lovely to drive. And um, until next time then, uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again. If it lets me quit. There we go. See you next time.